Filmwash is basically colour grading for busy people. It gives you that, that sort of final loving kiss to your footage here. And it can completely change the, the feel of a piece of footage just by a double click. So let's take a look at this footage here. It's completely resolution independent. So this clip here is, uh, is DV, but we'll, we'll be working on HDV and full HD clips as well. So this is just a sort of very simple city scene here. Uh, and I'm just going to use, let's just warm this up a little bit. So I'm going to go into my oranges here because this is the main sort of color tint that we're going for. Um, and we'll choose something like a summer morning. So to apply one of these film washes, all you have to do is just drag and drop over the top of a piece of footage and it applies it straight away. Another way to do it is to have that footage selected and just double click and then that will load everything up for you. So if we take a look at our effects controls over here, you'll notice that it drops in all of the effects that it needs to, uh, to complete this little look. Now, one of the things that's consistent throughout all of these film wash effects is that the controls where you're most likely to want to adjust things have all got a little asterisk at the front here. Of course, you can always go in and play around with any of these uh, effects here as you want to, but generally you'll want to stay uh, to the ones that have got the asterisk in the front of them here. So if we wanted to sort of darken this down a little bit, we could just use the final contrast here, just change the gamma. And that renders out very quickly. So you can see just the, a quick before and after, just very much changes the, uh, changes the mood really, really quickly here. Uh, let's take another quick look at another one of the effects. So let's say you wanted to go for something completely different. So instead of having a summer morning, let's take us into uh, one of the cyans here and take us into dusk. So basically the other end of the, uh, the other end of the day here. So this has given us a, a, again, a very different sort of look. And we've got a couple of different things to, uh, to play around with, with the desaturate here, we can, desaturate our footage more or less depending on how far we want to go with it and the final contrast again I think I'll just change the gamma there just to punch it up just a little bit more so at it's very basic level that that's really all there is to it so let's move on to the next clip now film wash has been designed to give you a unique look really really quickly and I'm going to show you another little technique for or tip for applying these here this is HD footage here uh, so, so I'm just running this at, at a, about half resolution. See if we can expand this out just a little bit more. There we go. So another way of applying these film washes is instead of using it onto a layer itself, is to use it on an adjustment layer instead. So I'm going to call this color tone, uh, and we're going to just create a slightly more menacing sort of a feel here. Uh, and we're going to use the dystopia one here. So again, just have my toe here in there. So you can see this has gone very, very. whole folder that's filled with with extra material so we've got extras here and we've also got vignettes here so to apply a vignette we've got two choices we can either sort of drag and drop into our composition or we can just if we have no layer selected here we can just double click so for example i'm just going to double click on my dark ellipse here and i've got full control over my vignette so the center point here 
changes the center there and of course I can drag the outer edge out there. Cool, so this actually creates a, uh, a shape layer in here. Uh, so it's created another layer for us. So I can come in and I can change our blend mode to something maybe like uh, overlay or possibly a classic color, classic color burn there. Yeah, and just take the opacity down on that slightly. So just sort of try and fade out some of the bits there. Actually, you might just go with a multiply. No, I actually like the classic color burn a lot better. So what we're trying to do here is, is sort of really keep the uh, the focus on the face instead. And the great thing about this is that it's all keyframeable, of course. So we come into our contents here, come into our rectangular vignette here, and come into my gradient fill down the bottom here. Just quickly keyframe the start and end points there. So, and then I'm just going to move that over here just create one little keyframe there and just somewhere in the middle just to make sure it's it's sat where i want it to even bring this in slightly just render that out so we can see we've got the vignette keyframing along and if i want a softer edge on that and see it's got a fairly hard edge of course i can then just go in and add just any sort of little effect that I want to we can blur it up quick quick fast blur bring that up a little bit there so we can see that without the vignette and with the vignette just makes quite a big difference there another good thing is to keep our vignette underneath the um, the adjustment layer so the tone layer and we get the benefits of the film wash going over the entire image Cool. I'd probably bring that um, bring that opacity down a little bit more. It's a bit bit harsh there. You don't want it too visible, basically. That's a bit better. Keep it a bit more subtle. Could even bring the uh, the blurriness up a little bit there. But that's good enough for now. Let's move on to the next one here. <laughs> 